There's so many colors. I feel like I'm painting with Bob Ross right now. Like, there's so many different colors going on. I've got no idea what's happening. I'll see if this is worth a watch. What is happening here? Right, Im immediately. What is going on? Like... The, this this just confuses me. This it just looks like absolute carnage. Boss design's really cool though. NGS is worth a try, if only just to look around. I swear, like in the combat that we've seen so far from this video, they've spent more time in the air than they have on the ground. I guess like it's my boomer brain, right? Like. I guess I'm so used to base PSO and so used to like PSU that the combat in this just seems chaotic to me. It just seems like there's so much happening. 16,000 damage? Does that, does that seem like absurdly high or is that just normal for NGS? This looks nothing like the Dark Falls that I'm used to. But from my understanding, Dark Falls differs between game to game, right? This boss has got some hell. Is that weak to light underneath the name? Is that what the weakness is? Honestly, this character has not touched the ground this whole fight. Is that like a specific class in NGS then that you just sort of like hover around? Because this just seems absolutely nuts. That's all classes in PSO2 NGS? Oh, damn, okay. Wait, so so all the classes are quite airborne? Is it? Is that... Is that the general consensus? Because this is wild. That AOE looks sick. So a lot of these telegraphed attacks instantly make me think of Final Fantasy XIV, like with the whole kind of radius thing. Oh, that was really cool. So is this boss, is it split into four pieces then? Is that why there's each individual, that each character is taking on an individual part of the boss? You guys will probably know in the chat, is this, is this more end game content in NGS then? Or is this like, a standard emergency quest. I'm getting PTSD from these orange circles, honestly. So what's the what's the deal with this target here? Is that a weak spot or something? There's so many colours. I feel like I'm painting with Bob Ross right now. Like there's so many different colours going on. I've got no idea what's happening. Okay, how long is this? Is there like a second phase of this? Wait, so hang on a minute. With with nearly six minutes in and they've done one quarter of its health bar. Is that normal? Or is that just really hard? This is the latest EQ, uh, emergency quest, but also end game. Okay, all right, well, that makes perfect sense. That's a really cool attack. Wow, what is this? So what's this class here then? Is this like some sort of like hybrid, sort of ranged melee class? What's this? What's happening? No, put, put your menu away. I want to see what's going on. Uh, this looks like they're about to go to absolute fuckery town. This is bloody cool. What is this? They're firing like purple dices of death. Wait, that's a Gatling gun? She was just using that as a sword. So is it a sword? This is wild. This is fucking wild. Oh my. Wait until you get to the cannon phase. Okay, I'm going to assume that that's where we are now. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Damn, we are not on Ragol anymore, I can tell you that. For those who know, is PSO2 classic like this? Like this kind of like hectic? I mean, I've played probably more classic than NGS, but like the recent stuff, if there are any recent updates, is it like this or is this just NGS specific? Nice, okay. Some raid mechanics there. That was a very smooth dodge. This is a weak point, right? 52,000 damage. So level 85. So I've noticed in everyone's level 85. This is either level synced or is that level cap? I'm going to assume maybe it's it's level cap. Yeah, it's pretty chaotic like this. NGS streamlined classes and movement. PSO2 classic has, has its charm. Honestly, like from what I played at PSO2, it was more I played on the Japanese uh, server when PSO2 tweaker was a thing. But I haven't played recently, really, ever since it kind of launched over here. I don't know why it took like eight years to come out um, over here. And then the hype was just kind of gone for me. 
I'm literally only just starting NGS. I have no idea what I'm doing. All the menus give me major optical overload. <laughs> I'm, I'm exactly the same. I'm looking at this and I'm having an absolute 30 year old molding moment right now. Those that movement is so smooth though. The art style I'm still not I'm still not sold on. I think I'll I'll take that to the grave. I think once you've played PSO and even PSU to an extent, you're kind of stuck with that art style. This is very like very different to say the least. That move set there is really cool. I like how it utilizes some actual movement in the game as well. They're swapping units. Ah okay, that makes far more sense. I thought it was like remember like anyone who used to play Dark Souls, like when you parry someone in PvP and then you swap like a weapon, a ring, a swap to another weapon, swap swap to the Hornet ring so you'd like triple your damage. I thought that was, thought that was what was going on. <laughs> Because cannon mode benefits from floor potency, so people create units with it to clear it. That's insane. Wow, as if there's a meta to this as well. It's so close to killing it. This is some... The, the damage that you can put out compared to, like, base PSO is vastly different. So different. There's so much damage in this game. That's so smart. They've just popped a rare drop rate increase. I don't really know what I just witnessed, to be honest. That was that was a that was a lot to take in. If you've never played PSO NGS and you're watching that, especially that kind of content for the first time, it's very, very overwhelming. Like, I mean, coming from a game where you literally you can't even jump. You know, so then that, where most most of the party members are flying for like majority of the fight, that is that's kind of crazy. Um, it's very very fast paced compared to PSO. Um, I do, I definitely I do want to try PSO two classic first. I think PSO two classic will be a nice like introduction. It's a flashing lights, yeah, no, definitely. There's so I'm like sat here like having an aneurysm. I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is crazy.